which is a circle with a triangle in it. Um, but here's what I want to think of it as. I want to find the uh, shaded area if this little measurement right here, which is to the center, is 7 inches. Well, one way I could do that is to think of it as what? A circle with a triangle cut out of it. So that shaded area, wouldn't it be the area of the circle minus the area of the triangle? I believe so. So if I can figure out my circle area and my triangle area, just subtract the two, and this will get get it uh, done for me here. All right, let's talk about the circle area. <clears throat> area of a circle, formula, if you don't know, you need to know, what is the area of a circle? Pi r squared. So you need to know the radius. What is the radius of the circle? It's 7, isn't it? It's the distance from the center to the outside of the circle. Here you go. 7. The radius is 7. Now again, pi, you can use your pi button or you can use 3.14 approximation. So let's take 3.14 times 49. That'll give me my area of 7 squared is 49. 3.14 times 49 is 153.86. That's the area of the circle. What about that <coughs> triangle? Triangle area, another formula. If you don't know, you need to know. It's one half base times height, yes. Okay, well, what is my base? Well, let's call this the base, huh? All the way across. Do we know that? It's not given. However, isn't it, how much is that? Doesn't the radius have to be the same? Isn't that a radius? Doesn't that have to be 7? Isn't that a radius? Yeah. The radius has to be the same all the way around for a circle. So if we consider those two the radius, which they are, I've got a 7. That's 14, isn't it? Across for the base. What about the height? Well, the height is 7. So if I can do 1 half times 14 times 7, if you do 14 times 7, that gives you 98. Those two first, then take half of that, that's 49. Okay, that's my area of my triangle. So what's the shaded area? It's the difference of those two. 104.86. What is units? Well, it's area, so area is always square. So it's inches squared. 104.8 inches squared. Now, the other thing, real quick, note here on that um, <clears throat> if I use the pi button on the calculator let me note there .93. you get point ninety three one fifty three point ninety three so that's what I'm saying you get a little different answer it's not I won't count that wrong whichever one you use because the book uses 3.14. This is probably actually more accurate, the 153.93. So that would give you a little different answer. So either one. All right. <clears throat> one more problem, and I'll be all through here. All right. This one.
is this shape. And what I want to do is find the total area. And what I've got is a trapezoid that's, uh, let's see, uh, okay, so yeah, this, uh, all right, so let's say that's eight. This is six across up here, and let's say this is feet. And we know one more thing, and that is this, which looks like five <coughs> by my drawing. All right, what do you see here? Well, I've got a trapezoid on top of a Well, that's not a circle, but it's a semicircle, half a circle. <clears throat> so the total area is going to be the area of the trapezoid plus the area of the semicircle. In this case, I'm going to add the two areas. The shaded, I was subtracting the areas. Here, I'm going to add the areas, right? So I'm going to take this area plus that area. With me? Okay. <clears throat> Did one earlier. Trapezoid formula. What is it? One half big B plus little b times h. So that'd be one half. Uh, the big B is the length across there, so that's eight. The little b is the length across there, so that's six. And then the height is there, so that's five. So it's a half times 14 times 5. See, 14 times 5 is 70. So it's half of 70, which is 35. So the trapezoid area, 35? Is that OK? Now, let's talk the semicircle. The semicircle, the circle is pi r squared, but what if it's a semicircle? Well, it's only half the circle, isn't it? So the area would be half of pi r squared. So that's going to be 1 half times uh, pi, 3.14, let's use, times the radius squared. What's the radius of this circle? 8? It's not 8. 8's all the way across. Half of 8, 4. So it would be 4 squared. So it's 1 half times 3.14 times 16. 3.14 times 16 is 50.24. Half of that, 25.12. <clears throat> so my total area would be 35 plus 25.12 which is uh, 60, 70, 60.12 feet, squares, square units, always for area. Did I do that right? I was going through.